Greetings, my good friends. As I promised, as soon as PTS became available for the very first time since, well, since I don't know how long, more than one year, that's for sure, I was going to make a new video because my old one is obviously going to be more or less obsolete with the old launcher. So with the new, that isn't anymore that new launcher for Star Wars The Old Republic, this is how to install and activate access to public test server or PTS. When you log into your account, don't start play, go to the upper right corner where your forum name for software.com would be displayed. Go to settings and here from the second row on the drop down menu, default would be no. You will have to select yes. Upon selecting yes, you click save and immediately after that, there will be a small icon right here in the bottom left corner. Mine is not active because currently I'm installing and updating PTS. From that icon, you have to choose whether you want to log in to the live servers or PTS. There are two instances. If you choose PTS, the, this screen will appear for you and a download install process will begin. PTS was, and probably still is, because I'm installing it for the first time since 4.0, just the same size as the normal game, which means you need about 30-ish, 35 gigabytes free space on the same drive where your game is installed. The total size will probably be smaller, but you know that the launcher does download first, then installs, which means at some point it will require more space than the actual, actual finished product is. The PTS is going to automatically be installed without asking you in the very same folder where your game is. I hope you find this useful. I will see you online. Bye bye.